billionaires love setting aside alone time to think as mandated by their celestial overlord as penance for their crimes against their species. The crimes include, in no particular order, greed, denial of basic resources, complicit adherence to inequity, and 17 counts of hubris. The celestial overlord detests hubris. It's just tacky. This is what it means to really make it. To be locked away in an oubliette of one's own creation, forever yearning for meaning, as reflected in the validation of material possessions. As your favorite motivational meme states, success is as wind through the trees. Immaterial and largely fictional. This is this known. Is the concept of abundance has been altered since the timeline divergence. You have everything you could ever need. The only currency you need is in your freezer. And of that, you have more than you can ever spend. Yet, as you find yourself staring longingly at the image of the beach with the platidinous dribble hurriedly scrawled at the bottom of it, you were sure that the writing was there when you purchased the poster from the gnome that lives in your closet. Yet the writing is in your own handwriting. You remember the last time that you were truly happy. It was at that time at the beach when you found that perfectly smooth stone. You held it in your hand, taking in the story that it had to tell. You cast it into the lake and walked away before you had a chance to see it sink beneath the waters. Some truths are better left where they were found. These days, time appears to be moving backward. You were unaware that time had a direction. The last you remember, it was March. It has never been March. March is a fabrication of the human psyche, a weak echo of the longing for a time that only exists in the gauzy sheen of nostalgia. You look out over the water. You are alone, thinking. Hasn't this, Hasn't this been a nice, been a nice road trip? Road trip?